All right, guys, so today we're going to try a new mosquito catcher. So it's this Co-Kit mosquito insect catcher, and it's similar to my Dynatrap that I had a, did a review on a while back. But we're going to plug them both in today and see how well they perform. So let's take a look at this co-kit. All right. So the thing that's different about this, this type of trap, let me show you. Other than the size, of course, it, it is bigger than the Dyna trap. Uh, but this has the insects just collect down in this reservoir and you can see there's a mesh so they can't get out but it, it just has them flying around in there until I guess they eventually die. This uh, co kit uses a sticky pad at the bottom so uh, once they get trapped in the, they're going to get stuck on the pad. And that, that's pretty convenient. Easy to clean you just swap out the pads. So let's uh, plug it in and see how it goes. All right, so let's open it up. So here's the reservoir. Let's put in the sticky pads. All right, we're gonna open the sticky pad. Close that up. Okay, let's plug it in. All right, I have it turned on. There's also a timer if I want to use the timer, but I'm just going to leave this turned on. You can hear the fan going, and we'll turn on this guy too. So that's going too. So they both have their fans running, and we're going to let it run for a couple of days to see which one gets more insects. All right, so off the bat, I feel like the LED on this one is a little bit brighter than the, the light on this one, whatever kind of, maybe it's a UV light, I'm not even sure. But uh, we'll let it run, see how it goes. All right, that's what they look like at night. One is brighter, but uh, the other is more purple. We'll see which one does better. All right, we're back three days later and let's take a look inside. So this co-kit one, you can clearly see there's a lot of bugs because it has a white bottom and it sticks. Uh, but you know, there's a fair amount of bugs here also in the, the Dyna trap. Um, but you can't see them as well because there's no white bottom and a few are still alive. So when I open it up, one or two might fly out, but let's uh, compare the two. All right, I'm going to turn them off first. I'll put this guy in. Take out that. Yep. Oh, man. Some bugs flying out. Lots of bugs flying out of that one. All right, let's compare. Wow, it's when when this is by itself, it actually catches more bugs than that. But uh, when it's next to this guy right here, it seems like all the bugs prefer the brighter lights of this guy. But let's see how many of them are actually mosquitoes. Let's see, mosquito, mosquito. Mosquito, mosquito. So uh, I'm going to say, you know, less than 10% maybe is mosquitoes. That's the main guys, but I don't like moths either. Uh, these are, oh yeah, there's a big couple of big mosquitoes, male mosquitoes probably. So yeah, I think we have a winner when they're next to each other. This guy outperforms the Dynatrap. 
So I'll be running this for a while. <laughs>